All right, guys. So let's go ahead and wrap up our overview of Romanticism. Here in this slide, we see some of the overarching themes of Romanticism. And you'll notice that there's a, quite a few bullet points here. And this is to illustrate a lot of the freedom that was going on during this time in the period literature. So that first bullet point, the individual. It's hard to overstate the importance of the individual during this time, which is a sharp break from the Enlightenment. Also, the second bullet point, suspicion of social institutions, is kind of wrapped up inside of individualism. Before, during the Enlightenment, the emphasis was upon the social group, right? The, the collective. That's really being flipped on its head with individualism. And then it's being, that idea is being pushed to a higher level with people becoming suspicious of the collective and distrustful of society. That third one. Passion, 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 emotions, sentimentality. We will see this a lot in romantic literature, as well as an awareness that people have for all of these revolutions that have been going on, and people are longing for the past when life was slower and simpler, but you cannot stop history. You cannot turn back the clock. You can only long for it and wish that the era from before, when times were simpler, was the time that you now lived in. The fifth one, imagination. The imagination, again, is viewed as a creative power, a luminous, for a luminous force, that comes within and then spreads throughout. And as well, during this time, people really became wary, kind of distrustful of science and its role. So we're seeing in Romanticism many, many different ideas that are bubbling out through the period literature. I always tell people that if you were kind of put off by literature of the Enlightenment, you are really going to enjoy reading romantic, these works of the Romantic period. They're a lot more accessible to the reader, and I'm really looking forward to sharing this literature with everybody, and I'm starting to get excited as we move into this new period. So, if there's anything I can do to help, please let me know. And until we meet again, be well, do good work, and keep in touch.